and welcome back to a brand new episode of Expeditions, a Mud Runner game. I have a few questions before we start the video. Would you guys like to see... Oh, I was going to show you the mods, but yeah, would you guys like to see mods in my series? I always get a bit concerned about it ruining... I don't know, this feels a bit like cheating, I guess, in some ways. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm all ears. I, I don't remember playing much of the mods in SnowRunner, honestly. I don't know. I don't know. But let's begin a brand new expedition. Terror Scout calls for aid. We suffered a mechanical failure in the field and cannot complete a planned installation. Terror Scout has put out a freelance request to locate the lost equipment and complete the install on their barrier. This will involve an off-road truck. I really want to use a different truck. I'm gonna see if we can find maybe one potentially. Um, yeah, let's have a quick, quick nosy. Surely there's a different truck we can use. Surely, right? Let's go, Labay. So we've got the step and the Action SE, which have both been great. Well, not quite actually. I'll take that back. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's one we can get yet. That's so, oh, so frustrating. I just want to use a different truck. I guess it's got to be. I don't really. I don't really like the step, honestly. Um, I guess we could give it a go. The stats aren't terrible. Not terrible. Maybe we will use the step. Okay, let's do it. Right, I should yeah, should be able to fit now. Lovely. So do you want a flatbed? I guess we need the modular platform. So we still take some cargo. Seems like a good idea. Um, what else should we take? Got the improved engine already. Got the lift kit installed. Oh, there's a rock crawler kit. Ooh. Uh, wheels we have off-road. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Snorkel, yep. I think we're pretty much good to go. We are good to go. Sideboard. And um, we have the lights. We have some spare parts. Is there space for a tire? Apparently, I don't know where it's gone, but apparently there is. Maybe it's underneath the vehicle? Maybe? <laughs> I don't quite know. Right, I heard, yep. Yeah. See, the, the wheels aren't connected. <laughs> That's a bug, um, or a glitch, or whatever you want to call it. Right, definitely take some jack screws. Um, some anchors. Uh, do you want to take any fuel as well? Sure. I think we're good. Yep. Yeah. We are ready and raring to go. Let's do it. I also need a mechanic as well. I, I'm, I heard there's apparently... I don't know who it would be. Yeah, this is it. 100 minus 100 underwater damage. Minus a hundred, so I can say I can go in the water for as long as I want with this guy. What? I understand maybe fifty percent, twenty percent, thirty percent, but a hundred percent. I can basically drown myself in water, and I'll be fine. That is not something I expected to say in these videos. Anyway, um, let's deploy and let's start to get this job done. So if I am correct, it's all the way over here wow that's pretty far holy moly all right let's get to it isn't this roughly where we was in the last episode i think it is yeah <laughs> i really hope this trucks up to it i hope i don't regret this decision because the axon has, has done such an incredible job for me but it's got quite a long wheelbase I believe we can lock the diff as well. We should be okay, he says. Famous last words. Also, hoping this is enough space for the portable rig. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, don't. Don't scare me like that. Don't scare me like that. <laughs> yeah, so we should take, in this ex expedition, I should take no water damage at all. At all. Which is just, again, absolutely stark living mad. That should not be in the game. I'm guessing 
it's weird for that to get through any kind, kind of testing. Very weird. Yeah, we're still suffering from that texture loading. Look at that. Look at that beautiful texture. It's like I'm playing on PS2. <laughs> it's really jarring because the vehicle still looks great and the background still looks great. But the texture around you is just a weird mud, honestly. I should probably have taken a lot of like spare parts. Which I guess it could be useful. Yeah, the fuel goes down pretty quickly on this truck. See, the other wheel's definitely not connected. It's hard to tell from here. It doesn't look like it. <laughs> They're just spinning by themselves. Lovely. Do I want to keep going down or I think so, yeah. Very well planned that as always. You know me. Very careful. Let the big roll. Let it roll. Parts of this game look stunning. I think the sections are semi loaded in now, so that's good. I set up talking about it, honestly. But sometimes you've got to address the elephant in the room. Yeah, so let me know in the comments would you guys like to see mods? I'm a bit in two minds about it. It would be cool to like check out um, possible modded vehicles and bring them into my game, but I don't want to ruin it such as well. I don't know, maybe I should stick to the stock. For now, even though there's not actually that many, to be honest. The fact that the struggle in there is a slight issue. Slight concerns about that. I'm definitely going to drop the slight pressure here. Hmm. bad experience with this this particular truck don't we the only fouled ex expedition so far is with this truck if it completely fouls this one do we uh give up on it do we just sell it <laughs> don't tempt me do not tempt me now this is where we installed the bridge if i remember correctly I reckon we can go, let's clear this route, um, if we go down to here, hopefully through here, and sort of up here, that's, that's what I'm guessing, I oh, just where the plane is, yeah, I have a this is us just picking up the equipment as well, yeah, No idea where the actual install site is. Some cool additions, though, to this game that I've been uh, reading up on. It'd be really intriguing to actually see the review scores of people playing the game because it's not officially out yet. People can play the game, 
but it's not classed as being out. So yeah, that will be interesting. I think it's going to be pretty mixed, honestly. I haven't seen many people be positive in my comments. Um, I've really enjoyed aspects of the game. It's definitely got issues. It's definitely not the perfect launch of the game by any stretch. But I've I've really enjoyed it. I've had fun with it. I have had fun with it. And that's me being completely honest. I'm not trying to like sell you a copy of the game or whatever. You do whatever you need to do. <laughs> the fact the real wheels look like they're fixed in, I think. Yeah, so stuff like the in the snow run on, all like the bumps and stuff were more like cosmetic. In this game, they actually have they should do a job. They, you take less damage with bumpers. But realistically, they can ruin like ground clearance and stuff like that. So Yeah, someone said they didn't like me ruining these cactuses. I'm I'm really sorry, but they grow back, don't worry. It's just, it's a video game and I have to get to my destination in my massive, probably diesel powered truck. I guess it's diesel. I thought that might take some damage here. See, the clearance here isn't great. See that massive bumper? So I'll take less damage, but it's, I want the, the, the grip on the on the tires, on the, um, on the rocks, but they obviously lose a lot of clearance doing that as well. It's like a weird like middle ground, I don't know. I might need to get like an anchor or something here. Because I can't get through here. We're running very, very low. Please grab onto it. No. What would we do without anchors? And there is definitely, if you want a, a, a tricky experience, uh, this game can definitely do that for you, for sure. It's, it's definitely there for the taking. You can take away all the assistance, the anchors, all the jack screws, and you just do you. Make it make life as difficult as you want it to be. Not oh, pretty, is it? I hope not. Yeah, this truck just does not fill me with any confidence at all. Any condition, it seems to get stuck. <laughs> I don't know, man. would just be charging through this. Come on. There we go. That's fairly impressive. Okay. Well done. Can I hit the tree? That is a bridge. Ooh. Why didn't I go to that bridge? I should have gone to that bridge. Um, I mean, as we're up here now, I'm off to just keep going. for a second. Can I go that way? Not too bad. There's the cargo there. That's what we're trying to get to. So I just try and force the truck up here. I might have to do that. Uh, right. Devices. Anchors again. Get through these anchors pretty quickly, aren't I? Very, very low. 
any kind of like rock in front of me, like we just don't seem to move. But we have arrived, we have picked up the equipment. I guess that's something. We'll put it there back, won't we? Yeah. Here we are. Right. So that must be the portable rig. Lovely. Um, definitely take the anchors. Definitely take the scrap metal. Um, take the fuel. Yep. Fueled it up. Uh, take the spare parts. I suppose I could have, could have topped up the... Um, uh, that's annoying. Gosh, look how many spare parts I've got. Gee! Sure, I really should have fixed that bridge. Oops. Righty, so we've got two locations. One over there, which is the closest one, I guess. So we go... We could make the bridge now. That's that's doable. So set a destination there. Go past there. Through here. Boom. Search for a place to install a portable rig. So is that not necessarily... Oh, I know what's going to happen here. It's going to be the furthest one away, isn't it? So we're looking for suitable sites. So any of these three locations could be it. Oh, lovely. Right, let's get going. Uh, no, of course, if, if the cargo is strapped down, um, yeah, it, it will not move if you fall over or whatever. It, it, it's locked in. If you did, if you played SnowRunner, you know how painful it is when you topple over and the cargo just rolls away. <laughs> you got to get a crane out, put it back on the uh, cargo bed. It was an absolute earache. It was horrible. Absolutely horrible. Let's loop around this left bit here. Without falling off the cliff, ideally. Ooh. I really want to test out the, um, the water at some point just for the lulls, but I also don't want to get stuck. This is that, that's possible, uh, definitely. Yeah, we've got loads and loads of spare parts, so yeah. Let's fix this bridge. I right, let's try and straighten up here, otherwise I'm just gonna topple off this bridge. We don't want that, do we? Even bridges are pretty hard to go across in this game. At least for me, anyway. Made it! Yes! Made it look harder than it needs to be. So I guarantee this first side is going to be absolutely useless. I would imagine. Absolutely pointless. One second. What's the best route to get up here? That works. Oh, mud. Can you test the water? That's not very deep though, is it? I bet, I bet it's thick mud though. That I can promise you. Is it worth me trying to loop around this mud? Could do. Could do. Let's see. Yeah, tech just seems fine now. Just, I get maybe just random locations that seem to be issues. I'm trouble with it, I guess. I need to do that, but it's a good reverse. Oh, I'm trying to avoid this mud. I feel like I should. Trying to my life is um, possibly as easy as possible. <laughs> 
One thing about this truck, it can carry a lot of like useful stuff. A lot of fuel. A lot of spare parts. Right, we're approaching the first site. Okay, I would imagine this one. There's no way this one's gonna work. This could be the last one, isn't it? I always question whether I went if I went to the last one straight away. Would it work instantly? Maybe you guys can spend <laughs> Got a little way to go there. Oh, <laughs> why? Just pretty much there. Well, I guess not. Well, I want to get down. That's doable, right? It's more the um, going up that's the issue. Yeah, you're completely fine. Starting to light the truck a little bit. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Right, it's good that the equipment is in place. We've heard some strange stories about what? Right, I guess we go to the next site. I don't, don't think anything's left behind there. It's just. Yeah, it's just. Yeah, okay, sure. It's why that I maybe forgot something, but. The last thing you want to do is then work out that you've gone the wrong way. you got to go back to where you just was. Ugh! That'll be a horrible feeling. A feeling I don't want to have. Sorry about the cactus again. This isn't very realistic. So they seem to like cut in half. Yes, the truck is doing alright. I mean, famous last words, but... Doing alright so far. That suspension movement. Oh, I love this game. <laughs> I love these games. I'm really excited to see what they are going to do. I'm, I'm guessing there will still be um, either like a snow runner too, or I always said it was going to be like a, a sand runner or. Um, that was going to be Desert Runner, which I guess we should be doing now, to be honest. Look at this Snow, Snow Runner too. Snow Runner had done really well for them, honestly. It sold so many copies. They definitely supported the game well. It's going to be the last one, isn't it? It's going to be the last location. What are you going to do? Is this mud? I don't know what it is. The soil is too loose. It is not worth placing equipment here. Okay, so we're not gonna go. Follow. So, how do we get around to the last location? At least we can un un uh, explore some on the map. So, I'm gonna guess like here-ish, and then hopefully I have to just dart straight there, hopefully. Fingers crossed. So once the equipment's installed, that's it done, isn't it? That was the, that was the contract. Guessing so. Yes, yeah, so if you guys happen to play the game, go straight to this lo last location and let me know what happens. <laughs> uh, let's go this way. Ain't no stopping me now. I'm on the move. Yes, I am. Tempting to try the water damage, but I don't want to get stuck. So tempting. 
don't think he's actually that deep, actually, as well. We were particularly interested in the scout vehicles. Again, I'd imagine all oh, that cancer stood like it's stuck. Oh no. <laughs> That's got that. Good. I was going to get stuck in that stupid tree. I thought I was just going to get around it. Nope. Now go away. <laughs> stupid tree. The way they've placed that as well, it's so cheeky. Damn you. Okay, I guess we're getting pretty close. It's a beautiful day. What more could you possibly ask for? Why don't I have a truck? Woo! Let's go! Also, we could go to the other areas in the game. So there's another location we could go to, which is more uh, like woody and green. Um, you guys want to see that? Let me know in the comments as well. Or we could just keep doing these. I'm under the impression that we should just keep doing these, but what do I know? Uh, most likely there are many rocks not far below the surface. That's why we're still in it here. Okay. So we did it. Earned 5,000 credits. 500,000 credits. Sorry, I read that wrong. Just got an achievement. Uh, use a jack screw more than one time. Okay. Uh, take less than 100 damage. I'm trying to remember, did I, did I use, have I read that wrong? Use jack screw more than one time. I didn't use it more than one time. I used it zero times. Anyway. Uh, we are done. Took a little bit of damage, but not too much. Get the, it seems to earn money very quickly in this game. And I have nothing to buy. I have nothing to buy whatsoever. Which is kind of mad. Uh, what did we unlock for that? Uh, rewards... What? Seriously? I got nout. Absolute nout. So in terms of the Grand Canyon, I believe that's all we can do at the moment. There's still four more left. A day in the life. What's that? A day in the life. It's like a YouTuber. Oh, this one's a nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Okay, I guess we're going to do Lost and Forgotten. That is a that is long. Unlock pit stop. So we can requirements a light beacon. This one sounds a bit more doable. Yeah, it sounds doable. Pit stop. We have surveyed the area and seem to have found a suitable location for a field base. Ooh. Needs to be marked for a team of technicians to install equipment necessary for future expeditions. That could be useful. Um, do we get like a, I guess a new outpost for it? Yeah, we've got a new outpost. Okay, that could be quite good. Um, don't flip the car more than five times. Wow. <laughs> I'll try. I will try. Again, I want to try and use a different vehicle, so maybe we can use. I mean, it's got Canyon in the name, so. Yeah, sure. I mean, the Loaster is also a scout vehicle. So we use that at some point. Let's try and upgrade this absolute little monster. So we need the beacon. There we go. Uh, need some deck screws, need some anchors. I'll try and add some like, extra like fuel and stuff if possible. Customers. All right, so we got... Do I want the reserves? Yep, sure. Side mount rack. Yep, there it is. Lovely. Look, loving it. Oh, some of the customization in this game. I really like it. I like it a lot. So if I add the medium on as well. That's 
purchase, so it's not installed. Okay, yes. You can use, I was wondering if you can install like small, large, and medium, but you can't. Um, doot, doot, doot. Look at that. We put a tire on this. Oh, yes. Beautiful. So I can install one of these. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, metal detector for free. A roof rack. Oh, look at the amount of slots. Yes, that is so cool. And then add some spare parts. Oh, that is beautiful. Some more spare parts. I think sometimes having more spare parts is useful because obviously the bridges and stuff like that. Can I add the lights on as well? I'm just packing this car up with beautiful stuff. Um, I do want to try and add some lights on. Uh, is it here? Ah, there we go. It's like a light bar thing. Go for B. Bumper. What bumper do we want? This has a slot on it, so I'm tempted just to go for that one, honestly. Another slot. Uh, let's go for spare parts. I mean, I'm going to be ready for this. So ready. Yeah. Okay, that's our vehicle. Looking very, very good. Uh, we also need a logistics guy. So outposts offer you more fuel, um, more repair parts. Again, I might go. I want to test it out. This freaking water damage thing. Whatever it is. How is this possible? I don't know how it's possible. This man's an absolute genius. It doesn't cost too much. So, yeah, sure. Again, I'll, oh, one sec. Do we need more, more light beacons? Ah. I need multiple. I'm now full up. Okay. Let's do it. I'm ready. Oh, one sec. Well, I looked at the actual performance. Jesus. I looked straight at, I went straight to this. Oh, my God. Okay, that was lucky. Um, performance. Yes. Chuck it in. Just chuck it in. <laughs> Just throw it in. Uh, gearbox. Off-road? Yep. Do I, have any, do I have a rock cooler kit on this already? I thought I did. Apparently not. Oh, There's a lot of tyres already unlocked. Let's go for the mud. And the mud tyres. Man, we are pimping this vehicle out. Why is this... Two stock ones. No idea. Snorkel. Don't even need a snorkel. Honestly. Go for the highest one. Man, we have pimped out this ride. Look at it. Oh, boy. What the? Uh, survey this area. I have never been here in any shape or form. Wow. This could be um quite the journey. Quite the journey. I'm really test it. I'm really tempted to go. I'm gonna try out the water thing first, just because I'm really intrigued by it. So we may go down to the water and bury myself in it, because I want to see this. I've heard about it in the comments and stuff, but I haven't seen it with my own eyes. Well, I'm literally gonna just bury myself in the water. An absolute idiot. Let's just get over here though. This would be mad if this actually works. I completely buried. I guess you could argue maybe... I don't know, maybe... I mean, even when the snorkel goes below it, though? I understand maybe... I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. I, do, I don't get it. I guess we're going to find out what's going on. I can just... It's not even a warning yet. What the hell? <laughs> What? Yeah, I am completely, utterly submerged. I mean, the snorkel's still pretty high up, I guess. Yeah. No damage whatsoever. Like, again, I guess the snorkel's a bit high. Maybe this isn't a great test. If I did, like, a low snorkel, then it's completely buried. I'm pretty sure he'd still be taking a bit of damage at the moment. <laughs> just, I've just buried myself under the water. Um, <laughs> uh, does, it, does it get deeper? Hilarious. It gets deeper up here. Ooh. Ooh. I am 
submerged. I'm quite fancy to go inside the car, actually. If I drop the car as well, I've lowered the pressure so it's even deeper. Ah. It even says I'm underwater. What? No? Do I take damage now? Do I take any damage? No? I am now fully submerged and I'm taking no damage. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, great. Wow. I don't know if I can get out of this, to be honest. This was a concern. I'm now just floating away. Help! Even a little bit. Is that the current? I think that might be more the current. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's recover. And let's go again. Let's get the mission done. I was a little bit distracted there. I do apologize. That was hilarious. Wow. Right, so we've got quite... A long journey here. It's actually it's not too bad. It's just the fact we have never been here before um, in any shape or form. It's, it's pretty, yeah, pretty brand new. Let's start with it being daylight. There we go. Oh, I can see again. Beautiful. All right, let's begin this uh, epic journey of epic proportion. do this I'm actually really happy with what they've done with the scout vehicles in this game they, a lot of the scout vehicles in SnowRunner just felt a bit useless and not realistic like scout vehicles off-road scout vehicles like this are monsters and in SnowRunner they just felt a bit a bit shitty honestly I really like the improvements they've done with this for sure love the customization. I love the fact that I've got a roof rack again. Incredibly realistic. Tire, a spare tire on the back. Um, fuel on the front bumper. Again, all realistic stuff people would do. One million percent. Uh, should I go in the water? Might as well. <laughs> Might as well. I'm not going to get punished. So that might be quite muddy in here, but... Should have um, filled up back there, but just keep it going. Keep it going. That's hilarious, though. So deep in the water. Hilarious. Um, I like how I'm in here, but I don't know how I'm going to get out. I might have to try and use a tree to close me up. Uh, so what a vehicle this is. There's no way in snow under this vehicle could do this. That was pretty weaker actually. <laughs> oh, what a monster! What an absolute monster! It's almost like a cheat code. Love it. That is hilarious. Wowzers. I'm guessing we are currently in the, uh, yep, yeah, we are discovering new stuff. Um, looks like, is that a, one sec, is that an airdrop or something? Do, do, do. Airdrop over here? Uh, so a look. Maybe not. Hmm, it's not. We move on. Dead tree, no problem. Thought it's a question mark over there. Now what is it? I could use my binoculars. A rare fish. What can we do with the um or is it just like a, a task? Ah. You want to go fishing, don't you? Not right now, but 
at least I've logged you on my map. Right, we need to work out a route here. There's a bridge up here, and we do have quite a few spare parts. Might as well try and use them. Okay, I see where the bridge is. Yep. Uh, if you guys haven't liked the video already, uh, please do. I know a lot of you guys now watch these videos on like your big TV, which is kind of crazy. I can see what device you're watching on. Look, that's, that's all I can see, all right? <laughs> I know exactly what model you've got and where you live. No, I don't. I'm, I'm, that's a complete joke. No, I can just see that you're watching on TV or mobile or whatever. Very interesting. I actually watch most of my stuff probably on mobile. Uh, yeah, I think so. Mobile, mobile, PC, and then internet. That's, that's the order I watch stuff on. I actually watch a lot of YouTube. I've got like the premium thing. Um, I watch, yeah, I watch, I watch, I probably watch too much. Probably. <laughs> that was, I'm about to get ready for a crash there, but this car is a monster. Absolute monster. One thing we haven't found for a while. One thing we haven't found for a while is a, an upgrade. Sure, there's some around. Oh, I don't know how that works. Absolutely no idea. I don't really know what I was looking for. Yeah, odd. Tried it a couple of times. I'll always come back later, I guess. Go around this dead tree. I'm on the roll again. Is this another scan? Probably is, isn't it? I'm not interested if it's another scan. <laughs> Fool. Ooh. Because oh, I believe the guy we have on board discovers fools, is that right? You can sort of pick them up pretty easily. At least. I think that's what it is. Unless that's the last expedition. Is that going to be a similar like situation where we've got like scan again? Let's have a look anyway. Location. Reverse! Back on the route we was going on. Can't help but feel like we're just going to roll over at some point. This still feels like it's going far too well. <laughs> far too well. We've still got a long way to go, honestly. I didn't realise just how big this map was. What the... This is madness. Oh, there's a little airdrop up there. Um, I guess fuel would be semi-useful. It's easy to get to. Why not? Ah! Oh, God. I was expecting a big boom. Minus 10,000 damage. Before we grab some more spare parts. Right up here. Might be semi tricky, but we'll see. Okay, it's just the clearance level. Normally, if I try and lower the tire pressure to then get more grip, it lowers it more, so. Oh, there you go. Hello! Right, what have you got for me? Um, oh, it's some dinosaur bones. And take the spare parts as well. Yep. Yeah. Leave it at that for now. Let's go. Don't topple over. Don't topple over. That's what's going on. <laughs> Great job, camera. On the road again. I ain't stopping for no one. There's another airdrop. What the? Why are they so close? I literally just jumped. I just literally just found one. 
Why is there so many? No idea. Scientific equipment. Ooh. Damn, I'd love to take that, but... Damn it. Oh well. Might be worth something. Might be useful for someone else. So if, it, it's, if it's relevant to this pit stop one, I'm going to be upset. That's what we've got to get to. Wow. We're definitely not done yet. In terms of being able to start expeditions, oh, I almost dropped my water there. Wow. Um, in terms of starting expeditions in this area, this is going to be so, so useful. Got a slight hint here from the uh, the figures. We probably should head up. I think they may have a point. Find a good route. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. Just a little bit. Go! <laughs> we made it! We made it. Another airdrop. That airdrop wasn't... We only had, only had the uh, scientific equipment, equipment in it. It wasn't... Oh no. It wasn't that great. Is there anything more annoying than finding those dead branches in this way? That's the only issue with this vehicle. Rocks like this. Not. You know, if I lower the tire pressure, I don't think it'd be able to clear it. Just butt into it like an idiot. Hello! Airdrop. How are you? Might as well put some fuel in. Uh, yep, yeah, all good. Thank you. I think there's a bridge coming up here. For use. Not use. Well, 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 what is that? Is that another bridge? Ooh! <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Damn it, is that, off on, the, is that on the map now? Uh, it should be, right? Why is it not on the map? Oh, that's something. Why has it now disappeared? Damn, I'm gonna need that. Tempted to try and get this I don't know. The facts I know there's an upgrade around here. Very exciting. <laughs> I know, I live a very sad life. I can't help it. Make another bridge. This probably looks like one of the more pointless bridges I'm ever going to make, but sure. I'm uh, not saying that. I'll take that back. Deployed. is in sight. We might have to try and plot a bit of a route here though. Is he out there? Oh no, I don't know. Uh, I think it's doable. I'll take a bit of time, but we can do it. And where is the upgrade that we spotted? It's up here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, I think we have to focus on the task at the moment and then probably come back and try and find it. That might be it there, actually. Is that a bridge? That might be a bridge. All right, let's do it. 
You know what time like the pleasant. So down here, yep. Yeah. Try not roll it. Some of the level design in this game is so so good. They've done such a good job with SnowRunner as well. And they've sort of continued it. They are very good at making interesting environments to explore. In my opinion. I'm sure people disagree. Why it climbed that? The fact that I have to put it into like a low gear or whatever, whatever. Just point in the right direction. Power done. Very, very good. What a vehicle. What a vehicle. And it's carrying so many like spare parts of it as well. It's doing an awesome, awesome job. Bridge above us. Well, I'm guessing I need to try and get up that slope there, which again we could be completely, completely fine, completely fine. I hope you say it properly. Ah, is that the set upgrade? Ooh. Is that the upgrade? It is the upgrade. Oh my god, we can get that on the way, surely. Yeah. I reckon so. Let's do it. I'm hoping it's like very, very good. We hope and we pray. Uh, how do we get... Oh, <laughs> oh there we go. That's, yeah, that's, that can work. Does that get to it there on the right as well? Uh, that's like a bit steeper actually. Go! And we are so close now to the upgrade and the brand new outpost. Very steep. Should be okay. Come on! Yay! Oh, that's why I wasn't looking the right way. Turn, 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 turn. Oh. Sorry, engine. Just climbed it for myself there. Oh, one sec, we're not on the right level, are we? Or are we? Yeah, we are. We got that. Go, go, go! I need this upgrade! Yeah, some of the, the best moments when we get in the upgrades to Snow Runner. I just love getting them. Oh. So, so good. Might be the little anchor here. Ooh. Oh, no. Why did I just whip out an anchor? Why am I so stubborn? <sighs> right, anchor. Damn it, okay, that's pretty wise. We wouldn't really have a purchase point. Um, uh, it's going so well. Oh, can grab that as well. Shit, just keep pulling me up. Cool. I don't roll over it. Oh. Seriously. <laughs> Maybe we, know, we, will, we will need that anchor. Something, something I can't speak properly today. It's going so well. Someone got a little bit over cocky. Ooh. Yeah, the winch in the scout vehicles does not need the car to be on. Very useful. I hope most of the vehicles actually. 
definitely, again, a lifesaver. This game's definitely more approachable. There is also a challenge there as well, though. One million percent. So we just found an upgrade. Get it. <laughs> oh, really? Is that, is that it? Fine-tuned gearbox. I don't even have that vehicle yet. God damn. I'm really excited for a really good upgrade there. Nope. Not happening. So, uh, we need to search this area, don't we? So we've done 14% so far. So, yeah, just you got to look around. Just to use the drone as well. I don't know if I like this aspect of the game. This, like, um, exploring the area aspect. Probably one of my least favourite parts of the game so far. But in terms of the mission content. Get it done, and then let's obviously deploy the brand new station as soon as possible. This looks tricky. Twenty-three percent. I take full responsibility for that one. <laughs> Easily done. Oh, the way it went up there. That is what you love to see. Uh, do, 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 do. This way. Yep. Works. I've also got a general idea of where I need to go. I guess we are scouting for the best location for the outpost. I guess so. It does make a bit of sense. The optimal location. This looks pretty good. Speed! <laughs> it's a bit risky doing that. 4%. We're we still in the circle. We are. So just a general like waypoint. So here. Uh, I'll go around that way actually. Maybe make that. Is this outside, is this outside the circle? Uh, no one says that's outside the circle, but not optimal positioning. I like finding like different routes, and sort of looking around and the sort of navigation aspect of the game. It's fun. This is where I wanted to get to. 98%. Please don't smash the engine doing this. Hey, we did it. Right, so we need to install a light beacon at the first and second location. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Okay, let's look at where we want to go first. Maybe that one first. use like an anchor to sort of slowly push me off. I might do that. I might do that. Anchor. Could have maybe dropped and done that completely okay, but... All that. I'll take a look at that. 
Anyway. Light beacon delivered. Now to the next one. Speed! <laughs> I think we might try and do, in the next video, if I can find the time, a massive, ambitious, long video, loads of expeditions done. I think that'd be quite cool. I want to sit back and just play this game and enjoy it. Get through there, right? Should be alright. I don't know if this is going to be... Oh, no. I was a bit concerned about that. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Should I make a little bit of a push, maybe? Him down, anchor. And we are done. Well, is it done? Yeah, he's done. <laughs> Wasn't quite sure though. Yay! We have a new outpost. The Southwest Outpost. Love it. Get in. Get in. Guys, we're in today. Thank you guys for watching. I was looking through some of the expeditions to see if there was a way to unlock vehicles. I can't correlate the mission with the garage with the list of potential expeditions. So I'm gonna look into that and hopefully we can find some new trucks or, or scout vehicles, hopefully soon. Thank you guys for watching and bye-bye.